It's time for person, place, or thing. Our first player is Naomi, and her favorite person is Audrey Hepburn. Our second player is Amanda, and her favorite place is her family farm. And our third player is Zach, and his favorite thing is D20 dice. And now, she actually had no idea we were filming this. Here's our host, Melissa Peterman. Well, I don't know. They're filming this? Oh my gosh, like a dream come true. Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing. They ask the questions, I give the clues, and whoever gets the most right will win lots of cash and prizes. Joining me today, I have three phenomenal contestants who are here today to battle it out for their shot at our grand prize, $5,000. Back. For her sixth consecutive day, it is our returning champion, Naomi, who so far has won $5,000 and four amazing hotel stays. And I know, Naomi, you had a little taste of it there. You've had plenty of it. You want to get back there and win another $5,000. But I'm guessing that Zach and Amanda have plans of their own. So let's get started. In our first round, we are going to play each category, a person, a place, and a thing. You can ask me yes or no questions, and I will be giving you some clues. Let's get started. Hey, Naomi. Oh. <laughs> now, I, you always got so excited when, we told, when we, you won those gorgeous like hotel stays, and I know you were very happy, but it felt good to get that cash, didn't it? For sure. <laughs> it really did. Yeah. Okay, how, was your, how did your family react? Were they excited? Oh, yeah. Yes. They're like, finally! <laughs> finally! <laughs> finally, Mom! Finally! Uh, well, I'm glad you're back, and you want to get started? Absolutely. Let's do it in... This round, we're going to start off with our person category, and I'm going to let you all know that this person is a fictional character. Is this fictional character human? No. Mm -mm. Hey, Zach. Hello. Welcome to Person, Place, or Thing. Thank you. Uh, is it your, your D12 dice is your favorite thing? D20. D20. Uh, it's for Dungeons and Dragons. Oh, uh, so okay. I'm hoping I roll well on my intelligence check. Okay, I think, oh, is that a Dungeons and Dragons thing? Yeah. Okay, I, th I bet you did. Okay, well, we're talking about a fictional character right now, and this fictional character is not human. So, Zach, okay. ask away. Um, is this fictional character, do they originate in a book? No, not originated from a book, okay? Hi, Amanda. Hi. I just love this top. It is Thank so you. beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, your favorite place, it's your family farm? Yeah. Where is your family farm? In Louisiana. In Louisiana. Yeah. And is, it, is your family still there? Yeah. Doing all yeah, the farming? Yeah. Oh, yeah. What do, you, what do you grow there? So it's actually like a hobby farm. <gasps> so, yes. So um, it's funny because whenever like an animal is going to get um, like put down for not a good reason, they'll call my mom and be like, hey, do you want another cow? Do you want another chicken? Do you want... 72 goats? Not really, but yeah. And she takes them all. Yeah. yeah. I love that. Yeah. Uh, well, we're talking about a fictional character, yep. not human, did not originate in a book. Um, do they have magical powers? No. Okay. They do not have magical powers. Time for a clue. Get your buzzers out. Remember, if you buzz in and you're right, you got 100 points. If you're wrong, you're out until I give another clue. His original name was Dippy Dog. <laughs> Naomi. Who is Goofy? <gasps> Uh, I wonder how he felt going from Dippy Dog to Goofy. I mean, both not the most flattering, but very beloved. Love Goofy. Uh, hey, Zach, you're going to start off our next category. Right. This is our place category, and I'm going to let you all know that this place is a business. Is this business a restaurant? No, not a restaurant. Amanda. Um... Is this business a place where a lot of people go? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would say so. Naomi? Does this business also do business online? Yeah. It also does business online. Time for a clue. Get your buzzers out. This place's flagship store can be found on 59th Street in Manhattan. <laughs> Zach. Is it Macy's? Good guess. Not Macy's. That's Herald Square, 37th Street. <laughs> Amanda. Even though this place is not a restaurant, does it sell beverages? I would say no. Not known. Yeah. Naomi. Is this place Bloomingdale's? 
Great job, 200 points. Okay, Amanda, you're going to kick off this next category. This is our thing category. And speaking of wanting to get a drink or a drink, this thing is a drink. Okay. Okay. Um, is it a soda? No. Naomi. My most favorite category. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. Not your favorite category. So let's just... Let's just get this out. Is this alcoholic beverage? No. Oh, okay, great. Oh, good. See? <laughs> yes. Good, good, good. Zach. Is it served cold? Yes. Served cold. Time for a clue. Get your buzzers out. Unfiltered versions of it are called cider. Naomi. Apple juice? <laughs> wow. Your voice is giving the right answer. Your face is saying it absolutely the opposite. It's just <laughs> apple juice. <laughs> right. Three. You got another 100 points. You swept that round. Great job, everybody. Naomi, our returning champ, is in the lead with 300 points. Zach and Amanda not on the board yet, but there's a lot more game to play. Come on back for more great questions, even greater clues on person, place, or thing. Apple juice. More about our show and meet today's super fan. Use your smartphone to scan that QR code in the corner of your screen, and you're not only going to meet today's super fan, Chad, but you're going to get access to behind the scenes fun and bonus content. If one of today's players wins $5,000, and today's super fan is going to get $500. Let's meet today's super fan right now. It is Chad Mosher from Burton, Michigan. Hey, Chad. Hey, Melissa. How's it going? It's going great. How are you doing? I am fantastic. I'm on person, place, or thing. How can I not be doing great? And that's exactly what I like to hear. Thank you. Thank you, Chad. Well, coming from someone who I now, I read up on you, Chad, that's a high compliment because you are a game show, I would say fanatic, kind of, right? I, I think that's an understatement. I have been a game show fan all my life. I've been on a few previously, and I'm excited to be on one of the best new ones of uh, the new season. You heard it here first. Chad Mosher just said we're one of the best new ones. I love it. <laughs> Chad, you've been on Jeopardy, Password, Wheel of Fortune, Millionaire. Oh yeah, my god! Yeah, it was your buddy Meredith host when I was on Millionaire. That was fantastic. Was it Meredith? It was Meredith. Oh my gosh, I love that so much. And okay, I think you are my you are my people. You are you your substitute teacher by day and a trivia host by night. That's right. I'm a person who goes to a lot of places where we learn about a lot of things because I teach during the day and then I host at night. Chad. Um, uh, we need to just fly you on over here. You are making my day. <laughs> I'm ready when you are. Okay. So I have to ask, because I am a game yeah. show fanatic as well, and I've loved them all, watched them all my whole life. What one was the hardest one for you to do? Like, I think I have an idea, but I could be wrong. Well, when I was on Jeopardy, I was on Kids Week, so I was 12 years old. So that makes it more difficult. Um, but everything's going by so quickly. I'm millionaire. You are in, in the moment, in, in the hot seat, so yes. to speak. So when, when the pressure is on you and everything, it's all about you. So to have to make those choices yourself, it goes a lot slower and it messes with your mind a little bit more. So yeah. I think that was the one that was more pressure filled. I, I kind of, That's what I kind of, I always think Jeopardy would, would be very hard, but you're kind of, you're not all by yourself and there's not lights going. And sometimes, exactly. If you make a mistake, you can't let it get to you because you're on to the next clue right after that. And sometimes we are our own worst enemy, so it's hard to be no that's who you're playing with. Well, I'm so glad you're here. I really want you to get that $500. Can you give, um, since you have been on them all and you host a trivia night and you do the best work ever teaching kids, any advice for our contestants right here? This seems like obvious advice, but sometimes it's not. Add up all your clues. Make sure you're thinking about the questions you've asked before. Don't ask something that contradicts something you already know. Put all your information together and help that guide you to the best question you can ask. That is fantastic advice. I think that happens sometimes where we forget what's already been asked or where, where we're at right now and you know where we've already whittled down to. So, Chad, you're great. I hope I get to meet you in person someday. Game show fanatic to game show fanatic. I loved having you. We're going to check back with you a little bit later and sit right. back. Enjoy the show. Thanks, Melissa. Good luck, guys. Thank you. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing. She's actually a few inches taller than Goofy. It's Melissa Peterman. 
and proud of it. Welcome back. Our returning champ, Naomi, swept that first round. She's got 300 points. Zach and Amanda aren't on the board yet, but there's a lot of game to play, and let's start playing it. We're on to round two. In round two, we play it the same way as our first round, except we're going to double the points, and you get to choose the category that we're going to play. Zach, I'm coming to you first. Okay. What would you like to play, Zach? Person, place, or thing? Do you want to get your Dungeons & Dragons dice to see which one you want to play? Oh, uh, You know what? I've already made up my okay, mind, so I don't have. need to roll okay. for it. All right. um, let's go with Thing. Thing. Okay. This thing is a toy. A toy. Is this thing made of plastic? Yes. Mm-hmm. Amanda. Is this a newer toy, like within the last 10 years? No. Naomi. Um, is this toy enjoyed by children under the age of five? No, not really. Maybe not really their, their cup of tea, maybe. Time for a clue. <laughs> It answers your questions via messages appearing in a small window. Zach. A uh, magic eight ball. Yes. Yes, indeed. Magic eight ball. 200 points. Well done. And Amanda, your turn to pick the category. What do you want to play? I think I'm also going to do thing. Thing. Okay. I like that. Um, okay, Amanda, this thing is an animal. Animal. Good with animals. You're good with animals. Okay. You got a family hobby farm. This right. is right up your alley. Is this animal usually like owned? Like, is it a pet? No. Okay. No. Naomi. Does this animal have fur? Yes. Sack. Does this animal primarily live in the woods? No. Okay. Time for a clue. Get your buzzers out. 200 points on the line. It's the only mammal that can fly. Zach? A bat? Great job! Oh, <laughs> okay, Naomi, your turn to pick. Which category would you like? Um, may I please do a place? A place, okay. This place is a U.S. university. Oh. Um, is this place an Ivy League? No, Ooh. it is not an Ivy League university. Zach. Is this place on the East Coast? Yeah, I think you'd consider it on the East Coast. Okay. Amanda. Is this university a small university? How do you define a small university? Um, 10,000. Under 10,000 students. No. Okay. How small was your university? I couldn't tell you. It yeah. wasn't. A, it wasn't one of the biggins. Was but it? it wasn't the smallest. Okay, I know you're from the south because you said yeah. biggins. I like it. Okay. <laughs> All right, time for a clue. Get your buzzers out. This university was attended by former UN ambassador Nikki Haley. That didn't help. Naomi, is this university in a capital city? No, it is not. Zach. Is this university in Florida? No, not in Florida. Amanda. Is this university in SEC football? No, it is not. Time for your second clue. Get your buzzers out. U.S. News and World Report ranked at the top national public university in South Carolina. Naomi. Raleigh Durham. Raleigh Durham? Nope, it is not. That means you're out until I give another clue. Zach. Is it uh, Carolina University? Yes. It is not. But oh God, I, they have a great football team there. They really do. <laughs> <laughs> Amanda. Um, does this university start with letters from A to F? Yes. Sweet. Okay. Time for a clue. That can help get you somewhere. Here we go. Last and final clue. Their football team is the Tigers. Okay. 
Okay. All right. <laughs> well, we were looking for Clemson University. Okay. Yes. Okay. I've heard of that. You've heard no points for anybody, but you know what? Who needs points? We learned something today. Yep. yep. We did. Okay. <laughs> you know what? We have a great game here. Don't go anywhere. Zach just took the lead. He's got 400 points. Naomi has 300 points. Amanda's not on the board yet, but up next, we're going to speed things up and see who's going to walk away a winner on person, place, or thing. If you're a person who wants to come to this place and do this thing, go to person, place, or thing on TV.com, and I'll see you here. Welcome back to Person, Place, or Thing. It's Melissa Peterman. We had a great game here. Zach in the lead, 400 points. Naomi has 300 points. Amanda, you're not on the board yet. But don't you worry, because up next, it is the speed round. Get your buzzers out. I'm going to read a series of clues about a person, a place, or a thing. If you think you know it, buzz in. If you're right, you got 500 points. If you're wrong, you are out. But just until the next category. There are a lot of points up for grabs. It's anybody's game. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, Jamie, put 90 seconds on the clock, please. For you, I'll put on 90 biggins. <laughs> Good luck, players. Your time starts now. This fictional character first appeared in a magazine story in 1912. He's commonly depicted with long hair and minimal clothing. He is known to swing from trees. Zach. Tarzan. Yes. This person is a rapper from Compton, California. He won a Grammy for Best Rap Album in 2017. Amanda. Ice Cube? No. He performed at the Super Bowl halftime show in 2022. He scored a number one hit. Zach. Snoop Dogg? Nope. He scored a number one hit on the Billboard Hot 100 with Humble. Naomi? Kendrick Lamar. This oh. animal is most commonly found in the grasslands of Africa. They're the fastest land mammal, reaching speeds of more... Cheetah. Uh, Amanda? Cheetah. Yes. This is a type of diverse entertainment show that dates back to the 18th century England. It got its name because it was staged in a circle. More contemporary versions of this can be seen at several Las Vegas hotels. Mm. Ringling Brothers and Barnum and & Bailey. Zach? Circus? Yes. <laughs> this is a type of cookie. It comes from Italy. Some dip it in coffee or tea. Uh, yes. Biscuits. Amanda? Biscuits? No. Some dip in coffee or tea. Uh, Naomi. Biscotti. Yes. This stadium was originally built as a memorial to World War I veterans. The Southern California venue has hosted two Summer Olympics and two Super Bowls. Coliseum? Yes. This person is a TV host, actor, and comedian. He's appeared in Half Baked and Big Daddy. He currently hosts Zach. Uh, Dave Chappelle? No. He currently hosts The Problem on Apple TV+. Plus. He hosts a Comedy Central's The Daily Show for 16 years. Oh. Yay! Yay! Wow! Yay! Okay, we were looking for John Stewart. John Stewart. But you know what? It didn't matter that you didn't, didn't get John matter. Stewart, because guess what? <laughs> Zach, we got a new champ Yay! in town. you home empty-handed so jamie tell them what they won indulge with lobster gram delivering precious lobster giant king crab legs colossal shrimp flavorful hand-cut steaks side dishes and desserts right to your door make gift giving effortless with lobstergram.com yes amanda lobster to your door ding dong it's lobster and zach congrats you are moving on to play for five thousand dollars stick around to see if zach is going to win that five thousand dollars we're going to be right back after this It is time to check back in with today's super fan, Chad Mosher in Burton, Michigan. Hey, Chad. Hey, Melissa. Okay, you've been watching this game this whole time. How do you think Zach is going to do in this final round? Zach played very well. Mm -hmm. It is time for you to become the dungeon master of person, place, <laughs> or thing and get that cash for the both of us. I agree. Well said. I think that was the best advice ever. And on that note, <laughs> good luck to you, Chad. I was so loved meeting you. And uh, fingers crossed, 500 bucks. Fingers crossed, $5,000. Let's do this. All right. Ready. Welcome back to the final round of Person, Place, or Thing. I am standing here with Zach, who's about to play for $5,000 from our friends at Caesar Slots. You played a great game. Right. And uh, here's what you got to do, Zach. You have to correctly identify a person, a place, and a thing in 60 seconds. You can start with any category that you want. Ask me as many yes or no questions as you need to. Guess as many times as you would like. Okay. And Zach, 
I have got three clues for you, okay? Use them any way you want. Just make mm -hmm. sure that you use them. You correctly identify your person, your place, and your thing. You have $5,000, and our super fan, Chad's got $500. Are you ready? Let's go. Let's, Let's do it. go. Let's do this. Your person is a TV personality. Your place is a U.S. city. Mm -hmm. And your thing is technology. Where would you like to start? Let's start with thing. Jamie, put 60 seconds on the clock. And the good news is with your buzzer work in that last round, you passed the intelligence check and the dexterity check. Oh, nice. Good luck to you. Thank you. Your time starts now. Was this invented after 2000? No. Uh, is it a computer? Yes. Okay. Person, is your TV personality? Uh, clue. This person holds the Guinness World Record for longest career as a TV justice. Judge Judy. Yes. Uh, US, clue. The University of Colorado is located in this city. Denver. No. Uh, clue. Uh, it is at the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. Um, uh, does it start uh, with the letters from A to G? Yes. Uh, is it uh, Milwaukee? No. no. Uh, is it uh, 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 keep asking? Keep uh, trying. Does it start with a uh, an F? No. Uh, Aurora. Um, the University of Colorado, located in the city. Uh, Boulder. You just won $5,000, and you get to come back again as our returning champion for a chance to win another $5,000. And congratulations to you, Chad, in Burton, Michigan. Add this to your game show winnings, $500 for being a super fan. We loved you. Thanks for playing, and you, too, can become a person place for things super fan by going to the website below. This person is so happy that I come to this place every day and I get to do this thing. Goodbye, everybody. Wow. Good luck to you. Thank Your time starts now. Was this invented after 2000? No. Uh, is it a computer? Yes. Okay. Person, is your TV personality? Uh, clue. This person holds the Guinness World Record for longest career as a TV justice. Judge Judy. Yes. Uh, clue. The University of Colorado is located in this city. Denver. No. Uh, clue. Uh, it is at the foothills of the Rocky Mountains. Um, uh, does it start uh, with the letters from A to G? Yes. Uh, is it, uh, Milwaukee? No. no. Uh, is it, uh, 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 keep asking, keep uh, trying. Does it start with a, uh, an F? No. Uh, Aurora. Um, the University of Colorado, located in the city. Uh, Boulder. Yes! <laughs> You just won $5,000, and you get to come back again as our returning champion for a chance to win another $5,000. And congratulations to you, Chad, in Burton, Michigan. Add this to your game show winnings, $500 for being a super fan. We loved you. Thanks for playing, and you, too, can become a person place for things super fan by going to the website below. This person is so happy that I come to this place every day and I get to do this thing. Goodbye, everybody. Wow.